In this video, we will be going over backing up and restoring workspaces in MotiveWave. The backup restore feature enables you to export settings, analysis, instruments, watch lists, scans, and open window positions to a single backup file. Now this backup file can be archived and be restored later in case something happens to your computer. Or you can also use this feature to transfer your workspace from one computer to another. We do recommend backing up on a regular basis. Uh, to back up, it's just a simple matter of clicking on File, Backup. And from the Backup Workspace dialog window, you'll notice that there is a default directory selected. In my case, it's Users Admin. And the default for the backup file name will be first the workspace name, followed by the date, then followed by the time, and the file is in compressed zip format. Now if you wish to change the file name or the directory, you can always click on Browse and make your changes. Once you have your designated directory and your desired file name, you can click on Create, and this will create a backup of the file. Now we do recommend that you back up on a frequent basis and to keep the backup file or copies at least of the backup file either online in the cloud or an online drive somewhere or on a thumb drive saved separately from your computer. In version 6 we've introduced the auto backup feature which can be accessed via configure, preferences. And on the first row we have general selected, on the second row we would select auto backup and if we enable it, we have a couple of options here. One, we can create a backup on shutdown. We can also select an interval. So in this case, we will get a backup file once we shut down MotiveWave. And we will also have a backup file created every two hours. Now the maximum files field tells MotiveWave, please do not keep more than 10 files. So once the 11th file is created, then the oldest file, in this case being the first file created, will be erased in order to accommodate the latest file and stay within the maximum file count. Now MotiveWave will create a default folder for backups, but you can always change this. For instance, you can click on Browse. And if I want it on my desktop, I click my desktop. I can make a folder here, call it backups, create, open, and now this is my default folder. Okay, so let's click apply. Okay. Now in restoring MotiveWave backups, there's one tip or rule that should be kept in mind, and that is typically you want to restore into the same workspace type that you backed up from. So for instance, in this workspace, I use the forex.com workspace, so I would want to restore in a forex.com workspace. The reason for that is, although with equities it's typically not a problem because the symbology doesn't change, but in things in futures, uh, for instance, depending whether you're with CQG or Rhythmic, the symbols can change, or with forex it can cha it change. Um, some brokers don't have the slash between pairs. And what that does is it can create an issue with symbology uh, when you restore that file. So that's one thing to bear in mind. Now to restore is just a simple matter of clicking on File, Restore, and then browsing for your file. In my case, it was off of my drive under Users, Admin, and my latest one, which was this one here. Double click, OK. Now, this field here, you're simply telling MotiveWave, please delete whatever I have existing now and replace it with what I had in my backup workspace as far as analysis is concerned. OK, so I'm going to click OK. And here we have the restored workspace. OK, so that wraps it up for this video.